Hey guys, today we're going to make a beautiful but very technical dish. Don't worry, just take it step by step and you'll be totally fine. We're going to make a brill and cockle fish fries with a cauliflower cream, a sea herb salad and a delicious tom yum sauce. So, let's begin. First we're going to fillet the brill. Make sure the skin of the fish is dry. This makes the filleting a lot easier. Now start by cutting around the head and cut along the central spine. Then tilt your knife a bit and cut the fillet off the bone. Be sure to give some pressure so you don't waste any fish. Now cut the fillet off. Then turn the brill and cut that fillet off as well. Just be careful that you don't pierce the liver. Now turn the fish to the other side and cut those fillets off as well. You want to hear your knife making music on the bones. That means no fish is wasted. Then take the fillets and make a small incision at the beginning of the tail. Pull that tight and slowly cut the skin off. Really let your knife do the work. Now trim the sides and keep the fillets in your fridge for later. Then use a spoon to scrape any fish off the bones. This should only be a couple of grams, but still we don't waste anything. Add it to the other trimmings and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the fish broth. First remove the eyes and gills. When boiling too long they will turn the sauce bitter. Also remove the bloodline. Then cut the bones into smaller pieces and do this as well with the head. Transfer everything to a pan and then let some cold water rinse on the bones until the water is completely clear. Once clear, remove around half of the water but be sure to keep the bones completely submerged. Then bring this to a simmer on the medium heat with a drizzle of white wine vinegar. Let this simmer for 30 minutes and meanwhile scoop off any protein or white foam that's floating on top. After that, gently pass the broth through a fine sieve and let it drain for at least 30 minutes so you don't waste a single drop. Now we can make the sauce. First cut two onions in half and clean them. Then chop them. Now add a drizzle of oil to a hot pan and glaze the onions on a medium heat till they start to color. Meanwhile cut three pieces of lemongrass, 100 grams of galangang, 100 grams of ginger and half a bulb of garlic. Then remove the stems from two chilies and cut them in big pieces. Once the onions start to color add the chopped spices and pan fry this for another 5 minutes. After, deglaze the pan with the fish broth and also add 6 lime leaves, 6 sprigs of coriander, 30 grams of cane sugar and 800 grams of coconut milk. Let this simmer for at least 3 hours on the lowest heat. Then drain the sauce on a fine sieve and pass it through using a ladle so you don't waste a single drop. Now cut a lime in half and add the juice to the sauce to balance the fattiness. Then season it with salt and fish sauce. Now blend it to emulsify the sauce and give it a final taste. Keep it in your fridge for later. Then for the cockle farce. First rinse a kilo of cockles on the cold water for around 10 minutes to remove any sand in the shells. The ones that start to float you need to throw. These are bad. After, let them drain for at least 5 minutes. Meanwhile, cut one onion in half and clean it. Then chop it. It doesn't need to be precise, but the smaller the better. Now add a drizzle of oil to a hot pan and add the onions, the cockles and 5 sprigs of coriander. Pan fry this for 30 seconds on the highest heat. Then deglaze the pan with 150 grams of white wine and let this boil till all the cockles have opened up. Once they have opened up, drain them and let this cool down completely in your fridge. The liquid is great to use for sauces or a risotto. Then remove the cockles from the shells. Now use a small knife to cut the yellow part of the cockles off. The bottom part is okay to eat, but with this we really bring it to the next level. Now keep them in your fridge for later. Then weigh 100 grams of the fish trimmings and transfer it into a blender. Also add one egg, 3 grams of salt, 50 grams of butter and the zest from a quarter of a lime. Now blend this to completely smooth. Be sure it stays cold to prevent the farce from splitting. Then add 90 grams of cold cream and once it's incorporated directly stop blending. After that transfer it on a sieve and press it through using a dough scraper or a ladle. Again, this step isn't totally necessary, but it really improves the texture. Now transfer a quarter into a bowl and three quarters into another bowl. Add the clean cockles to the quarter of the farce and fold it together. Then take one of the fillets and portion it into the desired size. Now season the top with salt and spread the cockle farce in the middle. Level it with a pellet knife and then roll it up. Now spread some cooking spray or oil in a mold. This one is from Mold Brothers. Then take the remaining farce and spread it on the side. Be sure to really press it well into the corners. 
After, press the brill roll into the farce and gently press it down not to damage the shape. Now level the top as well. Then cover it with some foil and steam it at 71 degrees Celsius for around 25 minutes. Now remove the foil and check if it's cooked by inserting a needle in the middle of the farce. It needs to go too smooth, otherwise keep on checking every minute. Once it's cooked, let it cool down completely in your fridge. Then gently remove the farce from the mold and transfer it on a metal tray. Now toast the top with a blowtorch to give it a nice smoky flavor. Then directly glaze it with some nice citrus ponzu. Click on the link for a recipe. Now transfer it on a cutting board and portion it into the desired size. Then keep them in your fridge for later. Now for the cauliflower cream. First cut 700 grams of cauliflower off the stem and cut it to the same size. Then cut one onion in half and clean it. Now chop it. Then add a drizzle of oil to a hot pan and glaze the onion on a low heat. Also add four lime leaves. Now take one piece of lemongrass and break it with the back of a heavy knife. Then twist it into a knot. Once the onions have softened, add the cauliflower and directly deglaze the pan with 200 grams of vegetable broth, 200 grams of cream or coconut milk, the lemongrass knot and 4 grams of salt. Now cover it with a piece of parchment paper and let it boil till almost all the liquid has evaporated. I added the paper for more even cooking of the cauliflower. Then remove the lime leaves and the lemongrass and transfer the cauliflower into a blender. Now blend it till smooth. Once it's smooth, add a knife tip of scent and gum to prevent the cream from leaking any liquid once plated. Blend it for another minute. Then transfer it into a piping bottle and keep it in your fridge for later. Now as a final prep, portion a daikon into slices of 2cm and cut those slices with a round cutter. Then cut those rounds with a smaller cutter. Then keep them in your fridge for later. Then we can start to finish the dish. First heat up the brill farce at 70 degrees celsius for around 15 minutes. Meanwhile let the daikon simmer for around 2 minutes to give it some heat. Then transfer them on the tray and fill them halfway with the cauliflower cream. Now fill it with some salt wort, codium seaweed, nasterium leaves and leek flowers. Then place a plate on the turntable with a wet paper underneath. This so it has more grip. Then turn it and pipe a circle with the cream on the center. Then place the filled daikon on the cream and gently place the brill next to it. Decorate it with cornflower petals and small salt wharf. Then take the hot sauce and foam it up with a hand blender. Be sure the sauce isn't boiling for a nice stable foam. Now finish the dish with the foamy sauce and then serve it straight away. Okay guys, that's it for today. Very happy with the dish. It's very technical, but again, just like my last couple of videos, just a few components, but fully focused on the flavor and on the techniques. Especially the farce, um, it's very technical to cook it right so that it doesn't split, to make it right so that it doesn't become too hot. Because if it becomes too hot, it splits as well. So that's very important uh, to look for, but it looks amazing. You can also prep it like so. So like I showed you in this video, cool it down in the fridge and then just heat it up in the heat drawer. Um, I think that's the best way to do is to do this during a service. You can cook it a la minute and then just, uh, just cut it during service, but it's, that's gonna be a nightmare, I think. So if you do it like so, I think it's great. The mold, um, it's beautiful, it works really well, but you gotta be gentle with unmolding it. And then I think this mold, if you make three portions, it's a main course. If you make, let's say, four to five, it's a good second or third course. Um, but that's really important to look for. And again, I say main course. If you want to serve more, serve more. If you want to serve less, serve less. Up to you, not up to me. Most of the dishes I create are created for a five or six course menu and not so much as a single course for a dinner. But you can definitely do that as well. Just put two next to each other maybe. A bit more garnish, maybe a cauliflower cooked in Bernazette. It's gonna be delicious. The sauce, it's a sauce I've been making for many years now and I just love it. My, uh, my wife, she, is, uh, she has an allergy for dairy, so this is one of her favorites as well. It has so much flavor and it's so delicious. And I think in combination with those beautiful cockles and that really nicely cooked grill, it's, it's spot on. So let's just dig in. 
Again, put the sauce on the side because yeah, there's no such thing as too much sauce. Um, it keeps a beautiful airy balance. And uh, for me, the fat content of the sauce, it's just right. Because then you can see, even though it's already cooled down quite a lot, that the bubbles stay really nice and firm. And it's not a sauce that becomes runny too fast. So I think that works perfectly. But enough talking, let's get into the tasting. Yeah, that's beautiful. The fish falls apart. You can see all those lovely cockles. And then the sauce, I mean, that's just to die for. That's so good. You can really taste those beautiful flavors. And that sauce, it's a bit spicy. Um, it's not too spicy because I, I think it would overpower the fish and the cockles because that's quite tender. Um, but it's really well balanced. The, the, it has so much flavor. It really is, yeah, fucking delicious. But. Um, that sauce can go with any dish, vegetable dish, chicken dish, but with a fish dish, definitely as well. So, really happy with the result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Next week, I will not upload a video. Uh, maybe I will, depends on how everything goes, because next week I'm going to be filming my Christmas special. And for that, I need to make 10 videos in one week which is going to be very hectic and very crazy, um, but I can't wait to, to share that as well. This year I'm coming very early with my Christmas special because then you guys can prep it as well. You guys can start cooking, testing, everything you want to do. Uh, so I'll be sharing my first Christmas video on the 20th of November. And I'm also going to do two different menus. I'm going to do more homestyle cooking, which you can prep within the day and serve within the day. I'm going to do that for a traditional and a vegetable uh, menu. And I'm gonna do a wonderful six course menu with three amuses and a little bite at the end as well. So like a nice sweet bite. That is gonna be great. Everything is already written down, uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments as well. So guys, as always, bon appetit, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.